check out this huge dent in the hood of this Nissan Versa. All right, I'm gonna walk you through my game plan. I'm gonna take you along the journey on fixing this thing and hopefully we'll have a good result at the end of the day and hopefully I don't waste my day messing with this thing if I can't get a good result. Because if I can't get a good result, then I can't charge for it. So here we go. I'm gonna start with some glue pull. Yeah. And I'm gonna pull these spots right here and see if I can get the bulk of this thing up. I'm gonna have a ton of smile to deal with and a ton of fine tuning. You can see all that smile right here. Hopefully whenever this all comes up, that's gonna release the pressure on these big buckles and it's gonna flatten out somewhat, but I know I'm gonna have a, I know I'm gonna have a lot to do as far as beating on that smile. So, all right, man, let's go ahead and get started. This thing only got a thousand miles on it. Oh my goodness. This thing's so new, it's still got the plastic on this hood popper. Look at that. What? All right, we're gonna get this hood liner down. Taking out all these clips. It's wide open under there. You got some of this sound deadening material. Clean in the area with some 91% isopropyl alcohol. I keep it in this container just for convenience and it holds a lot. This is a Kiko Super Tab and this is the tab that I'm gonna use to get this thing started because it's big and it's strong. Oro Bubblegum Pink Hot Glue. All right, this is where we're getting started, right here. Moving it around like that to make sure that all the glue gets into all the small parts of that thing so we can get the maximum adhesion. All right, I'm gonna try to pull with this handle. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Not that strong. All right, going with the slide hammer. This. That's what happened. It pulled up the immediate area, but it didn't give me what I thought it was gonna give me. So I'm gonna have to continue to pull for a while. So this is another Kiko Super Tab, just with cold glue on it. So let's see if this, let's see if this thing works. All right, y'all, phase one is complete with the Super Tabs and the cold glue. It's kind of roughed out. Let me let me show you what it looks like now, and then we'll move on to phase two. Here we go. You can see there's still there's still a lot to be dealt with. Basically, the entire area that was dented still has a lot of stuff to be dealt with. You can see this big smile right here, the low spot behind it. All that's got to be dealt with. Dent here, smile, 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 smile. So basically what that did is turn one humongous dent into a bunch of small areas that have to be dealt with. So that's what it looks like after phase one. On to phase two, it's gonna be knocking down a ton of smile, doing a lot of tool work from behind. Let's get going. What I'm gonna deal with first is this smile right here. This is a Shane Jacks jackhammer. This is a Rudolph tip from Anson, and this is a PDR finesse tip. All right, I'm gonna fix these areas of smile right here next. See them right here. All right, this is what it looks like now. You can still, there's still a good bit of smile going on but I need to push this area up before that's gonna lay down. It's starting to fight me. So that's a good rule of thumb is when, when the panel starts to fight you back, it's time to switch what you're doing. It's time to change it up. All right, I'm gonna continue knocking down the bulk of this smile and then that'll be the end of phase two and then we'll move on to phase three which will be fine tuning this thing. So all right, I'm gonna knock out all this smile and I'll show you what it looks like after phase two. All right, phase two is completed. Let me show you what it looks like. Phase two was basically bulking out all the big smile that was going on all around that hood. 
Phase three is gonna be fine tuning everything and that'll be the final phase. Let me show you what it looks like right now. You can see it is looking so much better. I haven't even put a metal tool on the back side of this. This is all smile work. You can tell how much of this was just smile. That dent at the front is still there. That's where I initially made that first glue pull with that super tab. There's still a nice bit of smile over here, but I really got to push on it to get the rest of that out. So, all right, here we go. This is a Blim adjustable handle tool going up here. All right, y'all, I am all done with this thing, with this Versa hood. I'll give you guys a good look at it. If you have, uh, if you have any questions about tools or anything like that, let me know in the comments. Also, if you're a dent guy, tell me what you think about my approach. Would you have approached that thing differently? Uh, let me know. All right, y'all, see you next time.